Well, good morning, peeps. You know, yesterday I did a, a literally less than a thousand steps, so lockdown phase two starts, and I feel myself going down a little bit of a black hole. I thought I'm not having this, Julia. So uh, I was going to do a video today about my stove or my new lightweight cook kit. So I thought I'll go and have a walk in the countryside, which is literally five minutes from where I live. I go there often. I've got this big tree. Uh, that I like to sit underneath. It's called my, I call it my thinking tree. It's actually got a name, but I, I call it Bert. I have no idea why I call it Bert, but I just sit in the tree. So that's where I'm going to do my video today. We'll see how that goes. But it's just nice to get out. Frost is here as well. Anyway, right, let's crack on and uh, get this video underway. If you want to hear about the Soto stove and why I'm not using the jet boil anymore, stay tuned. Let's go. Hi everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the reasons why I've gone from my beloved jet boil to my uh, Soto Amicus stove. Uh, I'm going to unpack this and I'll show you what it's like inside, uh, but I think the first reason is very, very obvious. I mean, look at that. Now the reason I needed to go smaller was because um, I've actually changed my pack, as you probably know, I've gone from my Osprey um, Atmos 65 through to my uh, little Salomon's pack. But when you go to winter packing or winter backpacking, then you know, you've know got extra stuff to carry and I physically couldn't fit my uh, jet boil in. So don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my jet boil and recently on the Southwest Coastal Path, I actually had jet boil envy because everybody else had um, jet boils, but I didn't. Um, I have my Amica stove. Jet boil is certainly a lot faster, so it boils um, you know, a couple of cups of water within a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that. Whereas everyone else is sitting there eating their grub and mine was still boiling on this stove. But when you look at the weight comparisons and the size comparisons, and I physically couldn't fit this in as well as all my winter kit, um, then you know, waiting a few more extra minutes really doesn't make that much difference to me. So let's unwrap this and I'll make a brew as well and I'll show you all about it. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's unravel this and I'll tell you the things that I do like about it and the things that I don't like about it as we go. So the first thing is something that I don't like about it and it's this really pathetic little um, mesh bag that it comes in. I really do need to get a new uh, mesh bag because this one's pretty pretty poo really. Um, so that's the first thing I don't like about this uh, stove. It's a bit awkward as well to get off as you can see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty pants. The second thing I don't like about it is I think I need some sort of a, just an elastic band or something because it's a little bit flimsy and with all the stuff that I've got in it, it just doesn't quite fit. Uh, as you can see, that sort of wobbles around a little bit. But let's see about some of the things that I do like about it. The lid's pretty cool. It's got a nice lip uh, in the lid. Um, and it's also got a nice silicon um, handle to the top as well. So you can just lift it off without burning your fingers. So actually I really do like that. Um, the lid really is there just to let out a bit of steam because you don't really, you couldn't really pour anything from this because it doesn't stay on the pot. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but uh, yeah, so that's not brilliant. Okay, so the next things I've got in here, I mean, it's not the pot's fault, it's just all the stuff that I've got in, but there are things obviously that I've used for my jet boil. Um, I would always use a pot stand, um, and literally I've just, you can get these off of Amazon, uh, really cheap, I'll put a link in the um, description below. But literally, yeah, you, if you're on unstable ground, this just makes it a little bit more secure. The last thing you want is your pot falling over. So the pot stand and your gas canister literally just fits on there. And uh, you can just buy those for a couple of quid. Really good investment and they just weigh absolutely nothing. So I like to keep that in my pot as well. All right, so the next thing I like is uh, my Sea to Summit uh, cup. But also, just to let you know that the Sea to Summit mug, which is a little bit bigger than this, I've got a green cup in here and I use the orange cup in here, but I could actually put a mug in here, which is a little bit bigger. Um, so this is a collapsible uh, cup. I don't go anywhere without my collapsible cup. I like an extra cup. So that's cool. And it goes in the Soto River Pot. 
The other thing obviously I've got in here, it does fit a 100 gram gas canister. So that obviously fits on my pot stand. Um, I've got a lighter. Actually, this is my Camino lighter. I actually got this from Santiago about three or four years ago now, and it's still going strong. It's just like a mini uh, Bic lighter. Uh, so that's that. And also I have the stove. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this. One other thing that I would say as well is in the bottom, always keep some sort of cloth or I've just got a bit of kitchen towel here uh, because the bottom of the gas canister makes it go a little bit rusty and smeggy. Um, so that's something just to be a bit careful about. So I always keep a little bit of kitchen roll or a little bit of um, you know, like dish cloth or something like that inside as well. So I'm going to talk about this pot in a little bit more detail and I'm going to talk about the amicus stove as well. I've got some people come in so I'm going to put this on hold right now. Okay, so this is the uh, Soto River pot. Uh, it's just an aluminium pot. It's like super, super light. Um, and the one thing I do like about it is the handles. It's got these silicon handles so you don't burn your hands when you're taking it off of the stove, uh, which is actually quite cool. Uh, but one thing I don't like about it, which is something that I do like about the jet boil, is inside the jet boil you've got these little markers so you can actually do measuring of food. And you've got these pre-packed foods and it says measure it up to whatever size or put so much water in and I've got no way of measuring um, unless I'm doing it in my little cup, which is just not the same. Um, but yeah, the one thing I do like about this though, it is a one litre, uh, it's quite wide and it actually fits. Um, I can actually scrunch in one of those boil in the bag type meals in there, where because the, the size of the width of these, see the difference in width size? Um, so yeah, it's, this is a lot wider than this one and you just can't fit an, an adventure food thing in here. So uh, yeah, that's one of the extra bonuses about this, but yeah, no, no markings on these at all. So this is the actual stove and uh, this is the, the Soto Amica stove. I got one without a, an igniter and the reason that I liked uh, it without an igniter is I've had problems with the jet boil igniter, which is why I always had a, a bit lighter with me anyway. So if they're a bit temperamental, I just thought, you know, I'm going to carry a bit lighter anyway. So a little dinky little bit of weight. Uh, and I know it's more reliable if I've got a lighter. So that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Um, it's got um, this, it's got a lip around the inside to help with wind, um, as in, you know, so it blow in. I, I need to get myself a windshield probably, but so far I haven't had any problems with, uh, you know, blowing out or, or anything like that at all. Um, but the one thing that makes the jet boil go faster is the system that you've got um, underneath here. Uh, you've got these little shields with the jet boil um, and literally have, that's much better for wind than this is. But at the end of the day, it just means it's going to take a little bit longer to, to boil. The construction of these are really quite cool. So they've got like these little pot stands uh, and literally you have, to, you have to put them together all the time, but it doesn't take two seconds to do. Um, so you literally put them together and they've got these little uh, lugs on them. Um, so I'll show you a bit of a close up on that. Um, it has got a, a control, so you can control how much gas comes out. And that's really quite cool uh, as well. Obviously the jet ball has that anyway, um, but some of the cheaper stoves that you get out there have no control, it's either on or off. And that's one thing I do like about this. And the price, Jay, you know, the price of the pot and everything um, inside this plus the stove. So like a whole kit for this was just 45 pounds. Whereas you can pay over hundred pounds for a jet boil. So that's a big difference as well. If it's, if you're just beginning and just getting into backpacking um, and then, you know, probably invest in something like this. It's lighter, it's, it's smaller, uh, it's, it's efficient, it does the job. Uh, so yeah, actually I love this little stove and it's quite cute as well. I should give my stove a name. All right, so the last thing I want to do is just show you the difference in weight and there's a big difference. Uh, I'm going to take out the knife and fork that comes with the jet boil because I always take those anyway. Uh, so we'll just cast those to one side uh, and I'll just show you the difference between this setup and this setup with regards to weight. They've both got a 100 gram, gram canister in them uh, and they've both got the Seed Summit cups in them as well and uh, both got obviously got the stove side of things. So yeah, everything that I just showed you is in this pack. Uh, let's give it away and see how we get on. Right, 
so first up is my uh, Soto pack and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it's 400 spot on, so that's everything in 400. Alright, let's do the jet boil and the difference weight with the jet boil is 559, so that's quite a big difference over 150 grams difference. Right, there's only one more thing left to do, and that's to have a brew. So let's put this together with my uh, Soto pot. <laughs> it's bashed me on the head. And uh, let's have a cup of hot chocolate and watch the world go by, by me thinking dream. Cheers. So if you're out on a day hike or even if you're out on a, a through hike or a multi hike, uh, then I'd certainly recommend the Soto, either the Windmaster or the Amica stove, both do very similar things. Windmaster is a little bit faster, a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, even lunch breaks, you know, I'm not a big fan of sandwiches and stuff like that. So I'd like a, a nice either, even if it's pot noodle at lunch or something like that, or one of these adventure foods, it's something you can have that's hot. And especially for winter camping, you know, I've always got this in my pack. So uh, cheers, I'm gonna enjoy the view. Can't believe it's the middle of November, can you? Fabulous here. I'll do more videos out here, I think. See you next time. Don't forget, get outside, get inspired, go take a hike when you can. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta-da. Bye-bye.